Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. The latest stable version of the Vivaldi web browser, version 3.8, is now rolling out. It started rolling out yesterday on the 29th of April 2021, and I received mine uh, earlier today on the 30th of April. Now, as always, if you'd like to see if you have the latest version, just head to your menu, help, and check for updates. And if it hasn't done so already, this will update you to the latest version. And if we just go back to our menu, help, about, the latest stable version is 3.8.2259.37. And with version 3.8, Vivaldi has also been updated to the latest Chromium version, which is 90.0.4430. Point nine five, and this is in line with all the other Chromium based web browsers as well that have received Chromium version 90 in the last uh, week or so. So, Chromium Vivaldi version 3.8 now running Chromium version 90. Now, there are a couple of new add ons and features in version 3.8 and a lot of bug fixes, and too many to actually mention in this one video, but I will try to highlight some of the key features for you today. Now the first one is the new cookie crumbler and basically what this does is, I don't know if you've noticed when you've been on a web page and it will ask you to allow or disallow cookies or you know allow or accept and it basically just it comes up as a pop-up or a tab and sometimes you are required to click on multiple steps to manage these cookies, even some hidden options and even and you know there could even be dialogue on every single page or even some way, no, sometimes no way to deny them at all. And basically this is a privacy concern and this leads to, can lead to you clicking allow or accept without realizing that you have basically just given permission for trackers to create behavioral profiles about you. Now the new cookie crumbler apparently is going to sort this problem out and what it's going to do is it's going to block those allow or accept pop-ups from harassing you and, and you know during your web browsing. Now to get to the new cookie crumbler to remove the cookie warning lists what we need to do is we need to head over to our menu again settings and then we go to privacy and yeah under tracker and ad blocking what we need to do is we go to manage sources and this is where you should see the remove cookie warning lists. Now for some reason I don't see it in my browser this is where Vivaldi says you will find it. Now, I don't know if it's on a controlled rollout. I'm not sure about that, though. But Or maybe I'm just missing something. But I don't see the remove cookie warning lists. And I have checked everywhere numerous times. But apparently, this is where you'll find it. And this will basically simply block the service that asks for consent or hide the consent dialog in the same way as it might remove a tracker or an ad. So that's a nice new feature in Vivaldi 3.8 just to get rid of some of those annoying cookie requests when you're just trying to um, you know do your web browsing. Now the next uh, feature to highlight is regarding the flock privacy experiment by Google. Now I have uh, made videos before on flock and what Google is doing with that so I'm not going to get into what actually flock is in this video but what version 3.8 does is basically um, uh, Vivaldi says that Flock has privacy risks and they have blacklisted the Flock component in this version 3.8 and onwards and this means it will not be downloaded and it will be removed if it has already been downloaded so obviously Vivaldi clearly against the Flock experiment from Google and they have basically blocked it from this, up, this uh, release and onwards. And now another little feature is the there has been some redesigning to the panels, and Vivaldi says there is a new there are new slick icons, new borders, and there is now your content can now shine through the panels. And to get to this, what we're going to do is we just head back to our menu settings, and we go to themes. And if we just scroll down, yeah, you'll see you have a few options. You have opacity. Um, for the panel background, you have the enable blur, which basically will enable or disable blurring of the panel background to get that frosted look. Now, I must be honest, I don't see too much difference when this is enabled or disabled, but nonetheless, apparently it, it will give you a frosted look. And then the transparent tab bar, 
And when this is enabled, you will see that my tab bar at the top becomes transparent and basically shows my desktop background colors. And if you want to, apparently if you prefer to stick to the way the panels were before, Vivaldi says, you just simply go back and you go to uh, reset it to 100% and you just take off the transparent tab bar and this will um, basically put your panels back to the way they were before. And then another um, uh, update is to do with the bookmarks. And there is another um, keyboard shortcut here that Vivaldi has introduced. So if I just go to their web page and I go Control D, you'll see in the top right I've added bookmark. And that is just a nice little shortcut now where you don't actually have to go into the bookmark um, you know, the icon and add the bookmark manually. And also now there are also some little changes in the bookmark um, drop down menu. And some of these are you can quickly filter between regular bookmark folders and speed dials folders, which is there. You can search for an existing bookmark folder or create a new one directly in the dialog. And basically there is a complete tree view with all folders available to expand and collapse, which is basically what they are talking about there. So the bookmarks has been slightly updated with that keyboard shortcut control D. Now, other little new things available in Vivaldi 3.8. If we go to our quick commands, in um, quick commands, you can now disable mouse gestures and you can add extensions to quick commands. Now, the previous version of Vivaldi bolded the keyword when searched for in quick commands and that I covered in last month's video. Now, in this version, and 3.8 in the quick commands you can now open extension pop-ups through quick commands by just typing in the extensions name so i'm just going to go for my, my little weather widget i've got here in the uh, top right of my browser i'm just going to go uv and that's obviously uv weather and that will open that extension for me which i think is a handy little feature and then you can show menus for extensions through quick commands and also open tabs outside of stacks with quick commands. So a few little new features added to the quick commands in Vivaldi 3.8. And then if we just head over to their, their blog where there is this, you know, their, their blog for the change log for 3.8, we can see it was published yesterday. That's when the 3.8 was released and rolled out. And if we just scroll down, we've covered a lot of these, you know, flock panels redesigned, we discover the magic of bookmarks. We've covered a lot of these, the quick commands. And then obviously right at the bottom, you have all your bug fixes. As, and as I mentioned, there are too many to mention here, but there is a whole lot of bug fixes here in version 3.8 as well. But what I'll do is I will leave a, a link in the description box below to the change log in the blog post on the Vivaldi website. So you can go check it out for yourself. So that's what I can see that is, you know, some of the key highlights that have um, changed in Vivaldi 3.8. If there are some that I've missed, just let me know in the comments below. And I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.